if you are a selling artist, it's a good idea to think in advance about the size of the paintings that you want to do. I find that doing small works on paper works well for me to be able to put them, um, put my painting very easily in the post and keep the cost of the posting of the packaging and posting down for customers by doing small works on paper. And the other thing that I like to do uh, is to think about my customer in advance by making my paintings available in a size that makes it easy for them to frame. So I've been online and had a look to see what frames are readily available on Amazon or on maybe it's somewhere like Ikea. And now I make sure that I paint, that I mark all my paintings and size them to fit readily available frames. So what I do is I have a mount here from an existing frame and I just mark out the corners like this. And then I use my masking tape and I paint my uh, paintings about uh, half a centimetre uh, bigger than the aperture of uh, commonly available frames and mounts. So I'll mask it off as I said just about a quarter of an inch or a half a centimetre bigger than the aperture of the frame. And then I know that my painting will be very easy for any customer to, to frame once they've bought it. You don't want to have a position where you've got a very strange um, sized painting that requires your, your customer then to go and get it framed at uh, a custom made frame because that will be expensive for them and you really want to make it easy for your buyers if you can. So having um, take that off you will now see that any painting that I make will easily will fit nicely within that aperture and then the other thing is to now gesso your um, paper um, because if you even if you gesso or even if you're using just acrylic paint you start off with white and what that white will do is it will seal the edges of your masking tape down. So if any paint, well no painting will now, no, no paint from your painting will now escape underneath your masking tape. So your edges will be very, very clean. It's not that vital, I don't think, that the edges are, are clean um, because they will be covered up by a, a mount an outer frame like this but it is nice it is nice if you've got a nice clean outer even though you're not going to see it at the end so that's just it leave that to dry and now you're ready to paint and you know that when your customer buys your painting it's going to be very easy for them to be able to frame it quickly